Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3, where it's birthday celebrations all around. Good Up FM in studio celebrating 50 years and Bobby celebrating his fourth birthday. But right now, onto something completely different. Now, if you live in the city of Chuane, you can count yourself very, very lucky because not only is your Wi-Fi uh, internet free, but speeds have recently just been upgraded to an epic 15 megs per second. Now, that's according to the non-profit organization behind the rollout of the free internet connection in South Africa, Project Esizwe. And joining us on the line to tell us why we should all just pack up and move to Tuane, James Devine, the Chief's Inno Chief Innovation and Information Officer of Project Esizwe. Um, James, good morning. Good morning to you and good morning to all your viewers at home. Thanks for having me on the show. Such a pleasure, man. Look, listen, this is very exciting. Um, 15 megs a second, that is incredibly fast internet for free Wi-Fi. Um, you've managed to make two, 22 million free internet connections covering 95% of Twane. I mean, how many people are actually using the Wi-Fi service on a daily basis at this point? Oh, that's a great question. And uh, we just uh, broke a record the other day. Of, we got 56,000. 413 unique users on the network in a 124 hour period and our total so far is uh, 720,700 uh, users on the network. That is incredible man, some really big numbers, well done on that. Now there is a daily cap though of 250 megabytes um, with, a, with upgraded speeds, any chance that we're going to see that cap lifted a little bit? Well, see, the, only between 8 and 10 percent of our user base uh, reach or exceed their cap on a daily basis. And uh, even if you do reach your cap of uh, 250 megs, what happens is you go to our content portal, to bed set of here today, and inside that portal you've got unrestricted access to sites like Wikipedia, Khan Academy, Sia Fund, Fund, uh, um, Gumtree with 60,000 jobs. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, this is, you know, it's geared towards a basic okay. internet service, just like you get your basic allocation of water and electricity. It's your basic allocation of, uh, of internet. Yeah, well, I think it's great, man. 250 megabytes, uh, you know, cap is, is absolutely great for free internet. I mean, this is more than you would normally get with other free Wi-Fi zones. Um, what are some of the devices that people are currently using, I mean, to connect to the internet? Well, uh, they're using the majority of the guys using mobile devices, and the majority of those are up to 64% of those is uh, Android devices, Android-based devices. And we're seeing that there's, you know, the smartphone, the day that the smartphone was a status symbol, uh, it's kind of moved on. It's now to the point where everyone seems to be getting access to a, a smartphone. And by the year 2019, um, Cisco recommends, reckons that uh, every single South African will have a smartphone um, and a Wi-Fi-enabled device. Absolutely. I mean, we, with the statistics like one in four people using social media, you can just imagine where this is heading. Now that you've almost completely conquered uh, the city of Chuane, what are you planning to, or are you planning to extend the service to, you know, any surrounding areas soon as well? Well, um, the city of Chuane have actually just launched their ambitious project, which is the uh, Wi-Fi Everywhere, where yeah. the executive mayor of Chuane has, uh, has made the groundbreaking decision that every single resident of Chuane will have access to free Wi-Fi within one kilometer of wherever you stay in an urban environment and five kilometers inside a rural environment. So there's a further 1,886 uh, 1, hotspots that are going to be uh, rolled out for internet zones. Um, we've got uh, uh, two pilots running currently in the Eastern Cape at uh, Mount Frey and Lusikisiki, where we've got uh, connectivity at both of those campuses for uh, 2,000 used, uh, students that are at both of them. We've got uh, Eight locations in the Western Cape, with uh, in Robertson and Atlantis, with the Western Cape government. We've got Kaiditsha, Google Ed2, sure. um, who's running through the Open Open, Foundation, Open Services Foundation of South Africa. Okay, and so. uh, we are keen to get every single person in the country connected. So the sooner we can, the better. Well, man, James, that's awesome, awesome stuff. Congratulations, though, on what you have done so far. Absolutely incredible. Really appreciate it. There we are, uh, Project Isis, where free Wi-Fi all around. It's going to be incredible. But right now, let's uh, quickly take a look at your news headlines. It is that time. Thank you, you and we'll just expand well look at those again. Former President